Welcome to another Howls and Growls post-game breakdown. Today we're going to talk about Mike Conley and the best game of his season so far. Now the Memphis Grizzlies are currently a skeleton compared to what we're used to seeing, but Conley's 18 points and 10 assists was more of an amplified version of what he's been doing all season long, so I wanted to use this as a way to break down his immense value to this Minnesota team. Conley made 6 threes in this game and that helped boost those numbers, but it's all of the little things and the way he runs Minnesota's offense every game that are a key reason behind their 12-4 and record and they were all on display in this game. So as usual, I'm just going to run through the film here and see what we can discover. Right away you see him disrupting the defense's scouting report. It's nice action from the Wolves to open the game. Conley comes off this baseline cross screen, allowing him to shoot up here and set up an empty corner pick and roll with Gobert. The Grizzlies know that this is a favorite play for the Wolves, so they're going to load up on it. Jaron Jackson is in position to crowd the drive. Santi Aldama is jumping the screen, so Conley just reverses it and walks into a pull-up three. Now the defense can't rely on what they've planned, and already Conley is using his brain to win. We're going to jump between offense and defense because it's also important to note how great Conley is defensively in this game and in all games. This is the kind of understated masterclass he puts on every single night. When the high ball screen comes, he's going to beat it easily. That's super important because it's taking away the first option for the defense. When Bain starts coming downhill, he's going to show gap help and make him redirect away from the crowd. Eventually, Memphis are going to get into the paint and set up a really good drive and kick opportunity, but Conley is lurking around the middle here and he's going to hustle back out and get a really good contest on this three-point shot. There's nothing overly spectacular going on here, but it's just fundamentals on top of fundamentals, and when you watch him closely, you really see all kinds of smart things. Here, he's on the opposite flank, and he recognizes the advantage he has immediately. It's right here, Aldama is Towns' man, and he's hanging back with him, and Williams is starting to head to this side of the court. That's why Conley has his arm out, sprinting to the corner that he knows is going to be open. He gets the pass, the defense is nowhere to be seen, and he knocks down another easy look. Now we're going to start getting into Conley's bread and butter, that high ball screen action. You see Anthony Edwards getting in the middle of things here to make it a Spain pick and roll, but it's this man that Conley is watching. As soon as he rotates here to stop Gobert, Conley knows that the corner pass is going to be open. Again, it's simple floor mapping but he's making the right decision over and over again. He actually dominates this second frame with those decisions. This is the very next possession. This time he's doing that defensive work again. He does just enough to maneuver around the screen and stay on Derrick Rose's hip, leading him into Gobert. When he dishes it off, he pauses here to provide another body for David Roddy to see in the post. When Rose gets it back, he's staying in front, moving his feet while retreating, and getting a hand up to force a miss in the paint. And then we keep rolling into the very next possession again. It's high pick and roll with Gobert again. As soon as Conley sees that the defense is going to stay up and try to hedge him, he's slipping this pass over the top to Gobert, who's rolling into acres of space, easy bucket, and more great fundamental work. We're back on defense a few minutes later. You see him up at the point of attack hassling Rose again, but it's what he does off the ball here that makes all the difference. When Bain comes off this handoff action, Conley is going to dig down and tag Biombo, and Gobert knows he will do that, that's why he can be up here stopping Bain. Then Conley is going to get back to Rose, shepherd him into Gobert's zone, and let the big fella block the shot. Now we're just going to run through some offensive sets from Minnesota where Conley is at the controls, doing what he does best. They run these wide pin downs for Anthony Edwards, but they do it so they can get Ant isolated on this side of the floor when he flips it back to Conley. So when Conley and Gobert flow into this screen and roll, Ant's man isn't leaving him. Conley can draw Gobert's defender away from him here with the drive, and Gobert's going to get himself another easy lob finish. Conley might not be the star man in Minnesota's offense, but having him slice apart defenses like that when they need him to do it, is such a valuable weapon to have. Again, they're play calling the Grizzlies to death here. This time they're running this high split action, where Conley is going to come and set this screen for Edwards, but
but instead of taking the handoff, Edwards is going to cut back through the middle, allowing Conley and Anderson to flow into a pick and roll now. It works perfectly, the defense is still down here worried about Edwards, and Anderson is free to walk into an open floater. This time they're going to go with these double drag ball screens with both Towns and Gobert at the top. As soon as Gobert rolls, and this man starts to inch towards the gravity that he's creating, Conley is going to whip this back to Towns, and that's too much room to give him. He attacks the closeout, gets to the rim, and makes another tough bucket. Let's take a look at one more of their favorite plays to finish this thing off. This is a little flex down action that they love to run. You see Conley setting the flex screen here. He's then going to come off the down screen here and be able to make the right decision. Sometimes it's going to be a catch and shoot three from here. Other times he's going to slip the pass through here. But this time he's going to come around the screen, draw the gap help toward him, and then make this simple read to the shooter. At the risk of repeating myself, it's just fundamentally sound basketball. A lot of these actions are obviously plays that are coming from the coaching staff, but it's Conley who is not only orchestrating them, but providing the killer blow within them. That's something the Timberwolves haven't had in the past, and it's a reason they're now top 10 in offensive rating, as well as being a top 3 defense. Thanks again for watching Howls and Growls, please subscribe for more.